戦えレッドタイガー戦士の二段変身悪のブラックレンジャーを相手に大暴れ日曜祝日には後楽園園地で超人レッドタイガーを応援しようユーフォーウォーファイトレッドタイガー is a トクタトゥヒーロー That was originally created in 1977 for outdoor state shows at the Karaku and Yuenshi, which is now part of Tokyo Dome City. Kamen Rider and Go Ranger were very popular at these state shows, but when Jacka ended up having a shorter run on television than its predecessor, it was decided that there should be an original character that could have a more consistent presence at the parks and help bridge the gap between TV shows. Planning for a Red Tiger TV series was done by Koraku and Yuenshi with, with the Daiko ad agency. The show was initially pitched to Toei's Toru Hiroyama, the producer of the Kamen Rider TV series, but the proposed budget was too low, so they decided to pass on the Red Tiger TV series. Eventually, the project was picked up by Suecia and worked on in partnership with the Ono Kinyuka Group. A theater and sword fighting group that had previously worked on the Kamen Rider shows as well as other series like Baron One, Go Ranger, and Kyodai. The TV series premiered on April 8th of 1978 and ran through December 28th of that year with a total of 39 episodes. The series has never been released on home video, but a few episodes have surfaced online thanks to old home recordings. These videos are the only media publicly available for Red Tiger. The story begins when the eldest of the Amano children is kidnapped by aliens. He would then return years later as the mysterious hero, Red Tiger. Years later, Dr. Amano of the National Institute for Defense Studies had completed the robot fortress, Ramburu Jagat, which will help defend the Earth from space invaders. However, the doctor is killed by the Black Danger Corps, who are looking to take advantage of Rambo Rojagan for their own ambitions. The series would then go on to center around the three younger Amano siblings who are in a search to find their missing mother. She's the key to unlocking the full power of Rambo Rojagan. This is the power that would allow it to go into outer space. <laughs> As you can see from the videos and promotional photography, Red Tiger is stylistically a Kamen Rider clone. Some of his attacks even mimic recent shows at the time, like Kamen Rider Stronger. And just like Stronger, Red Tiger could also power up, and his white costume would change to red. <laughs> The opening song, as performed by the legendary Isao Sasaki, is quite good and fitting for a tokusatsu hero from this era. Check it out.
missing anything particularly unique about this series, but the few episodes available through YouTube offering insight into a program that could be as fun to watch as some of the better known classics. Given how many obscure titles have been finding their way into official DVD releases, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point that also was true for the Red Tiger TV series, assuming that the original recordings still exist in a vault somewhere. Until an official release happens, at least we have these few home recordings that were shared on YouTube. Check out the description below for links so that you too can check out Red Tiger. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>